Boeing gave pilots eyebrow windows. Airbus didn't bother. So, was it extra visibility or just extra drag? On older Boeing models like the 707, 727, 737 Classic and early 747s, four extra eyebrow windows sat just above the main windshield. The idea give pilots better celestial visibility, especially for manual celestial navigation and situational awareness in tight turns. Before GPS, this mattered, especially on transoceanic routes where sextants and astrodomes were still in use. Airbus never included eyebrow windows, not even on early models like the A300 or A310. Why? By the time Airbus entered the game in the 1970s and 1980s, ground-based VOR navigation and inertial systems had already reduced the need for sky-based fixes. Their cockpit design focused on ergonomics, automation and clean aerodynamics, not upward visibility. This split reflects their starting points. Boeing evolved from long-haul propliners and Cold War jets, where every window had a reason. Airbus was born in the glass cockpit age, with engineers focused on streamlining everything, including drag-reducing contours. Those eyebrow windows? Boeing started phasing them out by the 737 Next Generation and 747-400, even offering plugs for existing aircraft. In practice, eyebrow windows offered minimal added visibility and plenty of heat, glare and seal leaks. Many operators chose to plug or paint over them to reduce maintenance and drag. Today, no modern jet includes them. But for pilots who flew with them, they were a window into a different era. Literally, was Boeing giving pilots an edge or just extra glass to clean? Do you miss the classic eyebrow windows, or are they just nostalgia for the slide rule days? Drop your vote, drag or design.